Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I don't know why I'm nervous, but hello guys. For those of you still here, welcome back. It is I. I is we. I don't know, is that a thing? So for this week, over the next five days, I'm going to just be sharing snippets of the major life changes that have happened in 2021 for me this year. Um, and just to kind of like catch up with you guys, just a little sneak peek, I'm gonna be talking about my home, so my apartment in New York City, because I think that's one of the biggest things that happened this year was that for the first time in New York, I'm living by myself. And then tomorrow I'll share a little bit about my Miami Disneyland trip and then some stuff on Beauty Within and how I've really just like approached self-care and also skincare this year. So I am partnering up with Love Bonito for this video. So every day I'm gonna show you the outfit that I'm wearing. I chose a bunch of their like fall winter items, which is perfect for New York right now. They're a clothing brand from Singapore actually. So I'm really excited to kind of show you the pieces that I've done because obviously I love clothes and I love chatting with you guys and I just feel like this will be the perfect way to kind of, I don't know, catch up a little bit. <laughs> okay, so this is the outfit for today. It's this hot pink sweater and it is so gorgeous because I was actually trying to find a really like vibrant sweater. So it's got this kind of mid collar. It's not a mock neck, but it's also not too low. And it's like perfect for if you want to like showcase your necklaces and things like that. And then it's got this slight kind of billowy sleeve, but not too much. And the arm length is just like perfect. And then the material itself, it like hangs off the body really nicely to give you that kind of slender elongated look where it's not too frumpy. The cut is classic, but the color is really fun. And then I just tucked it into these pants. These are the Love Bonito white denim. These are great because you know how it's like pretty hard to find denim jeans that kind of just cut off at the ankles and they're a little bit distressed. They're like slightly high-waisted and they're a little loose, like they're not tailored, but they're just so comfortable because honestly, I am just not about the life of tight clothing anymore. And actually you might think this color is a little bit intimidating, but you can actually pair it with like so many things. Like I paired it with white obviously because this matches um, and is like kind of a summery uh, color palette, but you can definitely wear it with just your normal jeans, light colored jeans, dark colored jeans, whatever it is. So it's actually really versatile. <laughs> so I have some notes here because so much has happened. So, okay. I think starting off with home, oh my goodness. This year, like because of COVID, the prices for apartments, it was just tanking. And at that time, like our lease was ending. My roommate didn't know whether she wanted to stay or move back home for a bit to the West Coast. And I was sending out feelers to see what was available and all that. But obviously for me, it's a little bit hard because I'm not like a citizen here. And so yeah, it's just a little bit more difficult for me to like apply for apartments by myself, but it's not that I can't be done, it's just a little bit of a headache. Long story short, um, my roommate moved out in like June, July, and I basically just inhabited the space. So the first two things that I started off instantly was actually redoing the kitchen and also simultaneously figuring out what the situation was gonna be for the living room. And so I basically went to Home Depot every day for about two weeks after work, just to like look at paint swatches, bring them back, look at like the peel and stick tiles. So yeah, kitchen was the first thing. So I'm gonna roll some clips. Here's me like painting the cabinets. Hello. So <laughs> I'm going to paint this wood. First up, you gotta sand down the cabinets just so there's a little bit of grip on you know, the texture so that the paint adheres as well as it can to the surface. Next step, you gotta get some like painter's tape to cover all the things that you don't want paint on. So 
I got these knobs from Home Depot as well. They're like, I don't know, gold. I'm putting you on a little piece of tuna, a can of tuna. That's where you sit. Oh, okay. Voila! We have a hole. Okay, and then pop the knob on the outside. Ding! Knobs! And then we move on to the living room. So the living room, I started with just buying all the big items, like kind of at once. So I started with looking at couches, a rug, a coffee table, and just kind of figuring out the orientation of this room. Then I built this like shelf thing. I wanted it kind of against the wall. The thing about spaces is I was scared that it would be like, if I ordered too much, it might look really cramped. I love textures. Um, so you'll see like a lot of different textures here, like there's lanterns, there's fluffy things, there's like wool things, there's linen, I love linen. And honestly, when I was looking at whites, because I also painted this room white, like picking whites, man, picking whites. <laughs> there are literally 50,000 different whites. So anyway, I painted all of these and I wanted like a feature wall. And I was really into the idea of that like muted, like gray green. Love it, but I didn't know if it would like box this room in. Um, but I ended up going with this and I think it's actually really nice because you can't even tell that it's really a darker shade of grayish um, and it's not too much. So maybe in the future I will paint this green, we shall see. So to kind of round up, I feel like I'm actually really grateful every day that yeah I just have a space because it's humbling in a way I don't know I think like it can be taken for granted sometimes but I really just don't take these things for granted because I'm such a homebody okay, so that rounds up day one I'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> I swear to God, like, New York is crazy. Like, there is not ever a dull moment in this place. Boop. So today, what I picked out is this really beautiful green sweater, and it's actually a turtleneck. Did you guys ever used to do this where you're wondering if you should get a haircut, and you kind of just create this fake situation of what it could be. So yes, this is their green sweater and actually this is much thicker than the pink one that I was wearing yesterday. It comes up till here, but I just tucked in the front and then I chose these really pretty straight-legged pants to go with it because I just feel like it's very chic and there's this kind of thick band that kind of sucks everything in for you and they're like super flowy and actually the perfect length for just like Boots. And here's my hack, you can thank me later, right? If you have a sweater, if you have it like this, it's kind of, like it's still a look, but it's more like, I don't know, cozy. You want it to be chic, right? What you do <laughs> is actually I tuck it in to my bra and voila, there you have it. Because sometimes when the sweater is too thick, like tucking it into the pants is actually too much. It will come bulging out and look like you have some sort of stomach. So voila, and you're good to go. So yes, you can thank me later. All right guys, so what are we talking about today? <laughs> I went on a trip, the first trip of the year, because you know how I haven't gone back to Australia because everything is still pretty crazy when it comes to traveling overseas and stuff so I just don't know and whatever like me and my friends we were like we should just take a vacation because none of us have had time off like I haven't left New York for the entire year so anyway we were like thinking where's kind of close still on the east side so we were like oh my god let's just go to Disneyland let's like become kids again I've been there. I went there with my dad and my grandma, who passed away this year, actually. Sad, but um, 
If you ever get the chance to travel with your family, like always take it. So that was the first time getting on the plane, traveling anywhere again. It felt a little surreal. So we had five or six days and we went to Florida for Disney World. Then we went to Miami because I had never gone to Miami. We did Magic Kingdom, which was awesome. And then we went to Epcot. In my mind, Epcot was my favorite out of like all the kingdoms for the fact that you could experience different cultures all in one. And then we, the last day we, what are we doing the third day? Oh my God, my memory fails me. Anyways, so after Disney, we went to Miami and Miami was so interesting. It, it's like so chill, so laid back. We were staying at this place that was right next to the beach. So we went out to the beach at night and the waters were so warm. Oh my God, it was so warm, but also a little bit scary. If you've ever gone to the beach at night, it's kind of like, oh my God, I'm gonna die out here. But the moon was so bright and oh my God, I remember the sunset in Miami is like, you have never seen a sunset like that. Let me tell you, it is so saturated and orange. It's like insane. And oh my God, we went to this gardens place and it was so beautiful. It was like this really rich man uh, built it. In the middle was this big kind of open garden area. And then you walk outside is just the water. It is so beautiful. And then the gardens, oh my God. It was huge and we spent so much time there. It was so hot. That level of humidity is not okay for a human being, I tell you. Anyway, I just feel like when I came back and, you know, got back into the swing of things, I realized how much I just kind of needed a breath of fresh air outside of the norm. And I didn't even realize I needed it until I came back and I was standing in the kitchen in the same place that before I left, I was making dinner and then standing in the place after coming back and I'm like, wow, like I really needed that. So once a year, <laughs> that is why people have vacations. The day-to-day -day mindset, you have to always like check in with yourself and I feel like that's what's important. Checking in with yourself every day. So there's that. Okay, so now it is time to head to the office and do some more shooting. Bye for now. See you tomorrow. Okay, so on the third day, I paired this brown cardigan with the soft black pants, and I just feel like everyone needs a pair of classic black pants that are tailored. And so this is a button-up cardigan with cute little black buttons, and then on the top, there is a collar. And I think this is what I normally gravitate towards because it's so easy to put together, and the arm length is perfect. The material of this one is thinner, so you can wear it underneath the vest or just by itself. And typically I like tucking it into the pants just to create a more form-fitted silhouette. And it's just so cute. Probably one of my favorite picks of the week. The black pants are just really slimming and slightly high-waisted. And so I feel like it would complement a lot of different body types. And it's probably one of the easiest pieces to style. Hello guys. Okay, so I'm just about to make some dinner it is obviously at night after work and i thought tonight maybe i'll just hang out with you guys and answer some questions because went on to my instagrams and asked you guys to ask me anything because it's been so long so i'm just gonna make some dinner right now um and then we can chat and eat i'm just gonna get some leftovers pasta. my favorite pasta is Papa Deli so I'm gonna make this and then we can chat okay yes and I am most definitely an Asian because I eat spaghetti or pasta or whatever it is with chopsticks and I also cook with them <laughs> Yum! Dinner is served! Mmm! It's just too good! Mmm! Let's see what we have here!
honestly, I'm a little bit shocked that there's like so many questions because I don't know, I just feel like this year I just did not even post that much that you guys even remember slash know of my existence. Like, look at them! You guys are so awesome. <laughs> A lot of the questions just skimming through now I see are um, uh, about my relationship. <laughs> okay, so mum or dad bias? That was the very first question. <laughs> I don't have a mum or dad bias. Lately, I've just been very thankful that I have two parents who I'm able to go to and talk to and, you know, seek help from even though they are divorced. Like. My parents divorced when I was seven, but I still basically grew up with like two families, which is actually kind of rare, I think. Um, let me know if you guys are also like that, but I just feel like I'm very fortunate to be able to have both parents in my life um, to offer me support in like different ways. I think I go to my mom for kind of like mental support um, and just like to vent about certain things and kind of have her give me a little bit of like wisdom and different ways to look at things. Um, and then I go to my dad probably for like advice on kind of more business things. I talk to him about work stuff. Not so much on the relationship because, and it's hilarious because he thinks I'm like hiding something from him when I say, oh well this is kind of a reveal that I'm not in a relationship he's like you're just not telling me things and then he'll call my mom and be like is Felicia just not telling me like you can let me know I'm concerned long story short yes that's that okay so I guess just moving right along because the next question from Jade Huang is um, I hope you're doing well it's been a while since you posted on a YouTube video how is your dating life? <laughs> okay, well, yes, I am single, single as a Pringle. Ah, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not actively looking, but I'm also just not rejecting whatever comes, if it comes, if that makes sense. Um, kind of just like, yeah, exactly that, taking it as it comes. Um, <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know. I'm sweating my upper lip sweat. Where I am now, it's very, it's like much quicker for me to determine whether something is vibing or not. Even if the person in front of me seems like we get along, we connect, we have like similar interests, I feel like now I can kind of see past that in a way because you can get along with a lot of people really well but it doesn't mean that they're all prospects to date what's important is more about the values they have you know the principles they have so let's break this down a little more like one of the main things that i know now that i can't really that i want in a person is open-mindedness and flexibility you don't have to see it my way you don't have to completely understand me but you have to respect where I'm coming from because at the end of the day, I think we all just want to be heard, right? And then the second thing is, I don't know, my idea, my concept and idea of a relationship I don't think is very status quo. Like, I don't really need to see this person all the time to feel connected, um, which is why I think the long distance thing worked for a while. But I just want to know that you're there. You know, that you're 100% committed to it as I am because I'm a very committed person when I'm in it. It just takes a long time to like find this God knows who. I don't need to know your whereabouts. Like we just need to have this mutual trust. Like I'm not about playing games. I'm not about keeping tabs on people. Like I'm not here to babysit people. And I realized this doesn't always work for the other person because it can be perceived as you just don't care. But actually that's the furthest thing. It's just that we express, you know, and show love in different ways. And that's just kind of like how I am, right? I wanna be on the road with this person together without needing necessarily to like do or say all these things that are labeled as like, oh, then, then that does mean they love me. That kind of thing, I'm just like, what? Like, you should see it through my actions that I'm devoted, that I'm here, 
you know, that I'm making effort, I'm making time, because time is so precious when you get older. And I'm not even that old, but time is really a scarce resource. So I think if you're taking time out of your schedule and spending time with someone else, that is already, that's quality time, right? This year I realized that what I perceive as showing affection or doing my part is not always understood the other way around. And so I know that I just have to find someone who reads or understands kind of like my actions as what it is and not take it the wrong way. Anyway, this could literally go on forever. So I'm just, I don't even know what I shared then, <laughs> but yes, I am not in a relationship. 2021 in one word, oh God. I don't know what I even did. How did we get here? How is it December? Hmm. Well, one thing that comes to mind is recluse. <laughs> I was a big recluse this year. It was a lot of like going inward, learning about myself in even deeper ways. Work-life balance. Ah, yes. I don't know. Work-life balance is a hard one because like everyone has a different like threshold and tolerance level. Everyone has a different job. Everyone likes utilizing their time differently. So like naturally that balance is gonna be so different for all of us. But for me, work-life balance is as long as I have at least 30 minutes to do my meditation at night and then sometimes at another 30 minutes to like watch an episode of a show. Um, that to me, like that time at night, if I have that, I'm good. So to me, that's not like what I need to work on in terms of balance. I think the work-life balance that I wanna get better at is actually throughout the day. Like when I'm doing work to kind of being vigilant and mindful of how I'm approaching the work itself so that it doesn't necessarily separate as work and then life because my work really is my life and my life is my work like they are kind of one in a way so if I'm at work if I'm at home everything that I'm doing I want to do it in the most harmonious peaceful but effective and passionate way kind of like every step of the way so that I don't come home and feel totally exhausted where I have to escape. So my goal of like what work-life balance is that I wanna achieve is where every step of the way is just as peaceful as the next. Um, and that to me is like true balance. <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's what I want to get closer to. All right, next question, let's see. Hope you're enjoying life. Oh, so sweet. Oh, and then Jade also said, hope you're enjoying life. Okay, anyway, I think, wow, my battery is like burned out. It's about to shut off. So I think we are going to stop it there. Cheers, guys. I'm going to call it a night. Good night. Thank you for submitting your questions on my IG. More of that to come because that was super fun. Um, and yeah, bye-bye. Good morning. Okay, so I just finished kind of like putting on my face in the bathroom. So today I am uh, heading out to go to the office as per usual, but I want to show you today's outfit. Okay, so this is today's outfit. I love it because like the fit of all the items are perfect for like kind of petite proportions in a way like it is so hard to find pants that like uh, nice and snug on the waist but that have the perfect length like it's just a little bit above the ankle and it kind of rounds out and tapers in it is so hard to find guys and it's got this structured material they are perfection and then can we just appreciate this wrap knit top it is so nice and it's also cropped which is why it's perfect with these pants and why um, I paired it together and I love this because it's not too revealing Boing. 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 
Okay, so today I'm gonna bring you into the office, I guess, and oh god, this area of my room is so messy. Let's not look at that. I'm just doing a little bit of <laughs> cleaning because it's coming to Christmas and I'm wrapping presents and everything over there is just mayhem. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> So usually on days we film, we hardly have any time to eat beforehand because it's a crazy scramble. But when I do have time, lately I've been loving making toast with this granola butter spread that Ro introduced me to. And it's from this brand called Oat House. And this is me trying to spread it with one hand and failing. Failing some more. Okay, there we go. So I completely finished the vanilla flavored ones. So I popped open a new jar in the original flavor and it was satisfyingly creamy. Look at that. Yeah, look at that stir. The texture is honestly quite strange at first. It's like wet sand, but in a good way. I'm not really selling this, but it's actually delicious and it's not too sweet. And there's a couple flavors, but the strawberry one is also rose fave. Then of course, coffee. Need I say more? Then before heading into the studio, just planned a bit more for upcoming workshops on our Beauty Within community. So if you guys haven't explored or checked that out, please do. I'll leave the uh, I'll leave all the details below, as well as just ideas and collaborations that we want to have next year because it's rolling around so soon and just jotting all that fun stuff down. And that about wraps up a typical day. It's Friday! Okay, so today we went to the office, but I went out for lunch and decided to wear this gorgeous, gorgeous sage green jacket. And it's a little bit like felt, but it's so smooth and a little bit cropped. So I got this in the size medium because I wanted it a little bit oversized. And it turned out perfectly because you can even wear like a cardigan under it or a sweater under it without it being too tight. And the buttons are really cute too because they're exactly the same shade as the material. So it's very chic and simple, which I love and then paired it with these white three-quarter kind of pants which have a distressed hem detail and I just feel like the white and green go really well together. So on this morning, one of the Beauty Within members felt like bagels, 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 and so we got the wonderful spectacle that is a New York bagel. Honestly, if you guys haven't tried these yet, I can't even describe to you how perfect a bagel is. By the time I got home, I was pretty pooped. And that's how it normally is on a Friday, and this grandma just wants to go home. My idea of a perfect Friday at this stage of my life is just snuggling up, eating something delicious, catching up on some shows, and I'm currently re-watching New Girl and Seinfeld all over again, and it's just giving me great joy. <laughs> and then of course some skincare before I hit the sheets. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Good night.